Brent Pico here from Keystone Precision Solutions. I am a customer integration engineer. Uh, today we're going to be utilizing the Exxon Nexus Pro to scan our building here in Allentown, Pennsylvania to then bring the data into Trumbull Business Center and generate a floor plan. I'm going to create a new project, take our LAS file from our scan that was captured with Nexus Pro. So now once we have that in, there's the data that was captured with the Nexus Pro. What we can do is actually turn this on our side just so we have an idea of what we're looking at. Make sure that the data itself looks like it's in the proper place. Like making sure the scan's stitched together just fine, as well as get an idea of where we actually want to cut our cross sections. Our cutting plane is only set to just under a foot, which means that we're only looking at about a foot's thickness of the data. Now, we don't want the floor in that because it's a lot harder to pick out where these walls are. So by shifting that slider, I just moved it up off the floor level so that way I can just get a cross section of the walls themselves. Once we are content with the data view, we can actually start tracing this. With each of these, I would just move through tracing each wall. We would have each of our lines there. And once we have our lines, I can start pulling out the length of my polyline, the area that I have, you know, so in this regard, it would be 419.1 square feet, and start applying this to whatever the map is, the end deliverable for the client, whether it be floor plans for a real estate agent, just to give them general uh, square footage so they know what to lease out to different businesses, or if I had to map this out for a school for any sort of entrance and exit points. The beauty of the slam mapping is that to get the general floor plan of this building, I can collect the scan data in the time it takes me to walk through it. For what we're doing with trying to capture walls and windows and doors, it's still going to be far more accurate than if I were to come in here with either a tape measure or a laser distance measure. The SLAM scanner, we walk in one door, kind of spin ourselves around to make sure we're getting saturation on all four walls and walk out the, the opposite door and we've captured it in less time than it took us to set a terrestrial scanner down and start a scan.